my channel, I'm Paige. Hi, if you're new here and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. In today's video, I have a black owned business haul. So if you guys are interested in seeing the things I've picked up and what I bought, then just keep watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. The first thing I bought is this Rems Co sponge and it comes in this packaging. Um, I bought two. So I bought this one and it's, I think this is called like the marble one. I think the color is really pretty. I did clean it. Um, I think just like my makeup has stained it and I've been using it a lot to be honest because I bought this um, Black Friday. I also bought the black one um, and this is 5 dollars the sponge. I bought the black one, it's dirty because I use it today. So, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And it, it kind of reminds me, the shape reminds me of the Real Techniques one. Um, but I like this one because it's nice when you're trying to get into like the inner corners of like your eye and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm still getting the hang of like beauty blenders, but I quite like this one. It's really nice and soft. It's easy to clean and it really expands. So yeah. Remsco Creation Sponge, and this was $5.99, or $5.99 each. The next thing I bought <laughs> is this eyeshadow palette from Luscious Makeup, and I love this, it's gorgeous. Hold on, see, like, I've been using it for, I think, like, black women, like, the colors in here are really nice, they're very pigmented, and I initially saw this on Painted by Esther on Instagram. She's a makeup artist and her makeup looks are fire. And she done, I think she used this makeup look on like Jordan Dunn and Ducky Thought. And I was like, I need me that. I also got this in the Black Friday sale. It is 20, 90, £20.99, which is not bad at all. And like, you get like a mirror in here. Um, mine's just looking very dirty because I've literally been using it every time I do makeup, but yeah i love it and like it's got lovely nudes as well um nice nude soft glam makeup look because this is the palette i use whenever i do that because it's just fire next makeup i have <laughs> but i don't have to think about it just i don't know why i had to think about it just then so the next makeup i have is this one from st essentials and they actually these these two um these are loose pigments and they were actually gifted to me so i have um the gold one is called Golden Sands, which is very pretty. I actually have it on my eyes. And then the other color I was sent was Silver Coast. Very pretty. I'm gonna do like a close up video so you guys can see. And this kind of is like a kind of white silver color. Um, very nice. Next item I have makeup wise is from a brand called Beauty Book UK. So this is what it looks like, hold on that upside down in the box what the heck hold on this style is called bb04 as you guys can see so it's kind of like it's kind of it's got um thin hairs like from your inner corner and then it gets thicker as it spans out these are nice i am also wearing a pair from them um beauty book and i'm wearing the style bb07 i've literally worn these not these exact eyelashes but this style of eyelash from beauty book in literally all of my videos except maybe the first two videos are uploaded on youtube but every other every video from those two besides those two sorry i've worn these eyelashes and they're gorgeous they're affordable these are 3.99 and you get so many different styles and like you can get really long length ones like very full ones or you can get kind of shorter ones like this which are more which are more Girl. Um, yeah, these are nice. I feel like I would wear these if I was trying to do like a no makeup makeup look, um, like more of a fresh look. Whereas these are like my go-to glam ones. I mean, to be honest, like I really rinse them. <laughs> so this one is just looking a bit jaggedy. I'm not a fan. It's not a bit of me. But I ordered a new. I ordered quite. Ordered a few pairs um, the other week. So I think hopefully they'll be coming next week. Um, because I love these eyelashes, they're so nice. Next, I have a lip gloss from Chem Beauty, which um, if some of you guys who are based in the UK and like live around London, you probably have heard of Chem Beauty. Um, so I have the lip gloss in the color Butterscotch. I actually have it on my lips now as well um, with a lip liner. And this is what it looks like, super cute, super nice. And it's kind of like a, like a peachy kind of nude color and I love it like it's not sticky and like the packaging is very nice like this itself like the actual lip gloss 
um, tube is very nice and I've seen as well like I really want to try some of her skincare as well because her skincare looks so nice like the facial oil looks really good and the cleansing oil looks really good as well I need to invest actually in the cleansing oil or cleansing balm to take off my makeup because I can't be doing micellar water all the time like the amount of cotton pads I use is ridiculous and I know it's not good for the environment so there's that too um but yeah definitely check out um Chem Beauty like again packaging is sleek very nice they're a nice um color options as well lip gloss wise and yeah who doesn't love a glossy lip the next thing i have is actually some press on nails and they're looking very jumbled and not that enticing because of me in here but these are from me lima nails so these were 16.99 when i bought them but i think the pricing has changed on their website purely because you can i think they're now doing custom now so you measure um, the actual size of your nail beds and then they make the like sets for you based on your like custom tailored to your nail size your now your actual nail beds or you can get ones which are like all 20 pieces which are ones like these but they're more they're more expensive i think those are like 20.99 or something again everything will be listed in the description box um these are the long coffin sculpted coffin on the website and i believe this color is Yes, this color is cookie. I also have, um, I also bought the ballerina set. Like press-ons are great, especially because, you know, as majority of us know, if we live here in the UK, um, we are inside. So yeah, we're inside and I'm not really a fan because I did like to go out, I'm a homebody, but I like to go out here and there. Um, anyway, uh, it's important to look after yourself and do the things that make you happy and if getting your nails done is one of those things but you kind of get your nails done, press on nails are great and I think press on nails are great as well if like you've never like actually had acrylics done because you can test out like if you actually like sculpted nails and do they suit you, do you like how they look on your hands without committing to getting acrylics done and then you don't like how it looks like you don't want to pay for a full set of nails and you're like yeah these are too long for me um so yeah i think press on nails are great for versatility for design for style i've been meaning to reapply these but I just, i've just been a bit lazy to be honest but they do loads of different um they do different designs and colors and different lengths as well which i like so they do like short um square long square they do um a short or medium um, length coffin and obviously long coffin so they have loads of options depending on what you like also if you want to try something different so yes highly recommend these I think maybe twice now um, and they're just they're very nice nails in Karama Afric I really hope I'm saying right it right if you know how it's said and you want to like in the comments below like it's so pretty like it's so pretty I put it around my neck if you guys can see it's so nice and the reason why I love this um, I think the brand pays homage to um, like African symbols and Africa in general and I believe this is a Ghanaian symbol and the name of this symbol is hold on Wernamin I hope I'm saying that properly um, and from what I've read, it basically means like strength, humility, and wisdom. And I feel like those are qualities that I have and that I strive to have, which is why I really liked it. And it's simple, like it's a very interesting symbol and I love what it means. So that's why I bought it. This was 18 pounds. Brand has loads of different, I think, Ghanaian and other African symbols. So definitely check them out, it's very beautiful. If you like this video and you want to see like a black owned wish list video let me know because i really have the brands i want to include but if people want to see it i would definitely record it because the next thing i bought is this <laughs> this bad boy piece okay gorgeous two-piece set and it's from a brand called um women's wear i think it's owned by three black women i think they're, they're really good friends um and yeah like so this is the top so you have the their label here women's obviously women's wear but this is the label and then you have the mini skirt this is the mini skirt um yeah it does it looks like it's kind of long but then i mean i know for me like because of my hips 
it's defo, it defo sits like a mini skirt. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this set was, I believe 65 pound or 70. Like I said, everything will be in the description box. Follow beautiful black women who live in the UK and who do fashion content. You've most likely seen them at least tag women's wear. If it's not this piece and they do like those other gorgeous like jumpsuits and other two pieces, there are so many other things I want to buy. All I know is I'm a medium, so if anyone wants to buy me anything, you know my size, so you have no excuses now. Anyway, I love this. I pull this out literally, I think, like every year. And it looks good. Like, it's just, it, I love it. This bad boy, like, when I give this to my daughter in like 30 years' time, she's gonna be like, wow, mom, this is great. I'm like, I know. Because for me, I'm trying to buy timeless pieces that I can wear up until like I can no longer fit in them or it's like not my thing. And then I can give it to my daughter or to like my niece or something. And then they're like, wow, this is great. I'm like, yeah, I know. Your auntie, your mother has great taste. I know. The final item I have, and I don't even know why I've made this the final item because it makes me sad that I can't actually wear it. <laughs> but I have this bikini from Illicit, Illicit Swim. And this is what it, um, came in it came in this bag stunning 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 it's a bit of me it came with like a very like with the brand name i mean with like a, a thank you card with the branding on the back um yeah super cute super lovely um yeah let's get into the bikini because <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna also like insert a clip of when I took a picture in it back in summer because I'm not trying it on now. This is the thong, <laughs> the thong bikini bottom. So if you want your ass cheeks out, this is the one. They also do cheeky star bottoms as well, um, which I like, but when I get to wear this, I actually cannot wait because I wore this like in the UK and I'm so upset. I wore this to do like a staycation, a staycation hot girl kind of vibe on Instagram. Again, you guys should already be following me, but if you're not, it's okay because now you know. But yeah, so it was £20 and then the top um, was £25. It's still available on their website, but when I looked, I think the top was, the top was out of stock. Um, so this is what it looks like. You guys would see in the picture. So you can wear it across or you can have it like a standard like triangle where it ties at the back. Um, and I like the versatility because it just makes it more interesting. Um, and yeah, like the material just feels very nice. I mean, I would say I feel like you're gonna have side boobage. So if that's not something, unless you obviously get a bigger size. I mean, I got a, a medium in the top as well and I don't really have big boobs like that like some side boob action um doesn't bother me to be honest but depending on your personal preference you may want to make you may want to get a bigger size if like you're the same size as me but you don't really want potentially like your boob to be out a bit so it was only a little bit like it was not a big deal but yeah I'm speaking to existence I'm going to be able to wear this year, this year with somebody's son in the sun you get at somebody's son in the sun because I deserve, like, this is a bit of me. And they do loads of different colors and prints. Again, to me, like, this is just like a timeless swimsuit and it's black owned, so like, it's making sense. But yeah, so I love that um, it comes in like this resealable bag. And I think it's great for when, I don't wanna keep going on about the fact that we're like, we're in lockdown and we can't go anywhere. But obviously when the time comes when we can travel again and it's a bit more of a frequent occurrence like it used to be i think this is great for just keeping your bikinis like in one place usually i've just put my bikinis in like an ikea like sandwich bag hey guys this is the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching and for coming to my first video of 2021 hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you like if you haven't already and comment below like what your favorite thing was from this haul and what you would buy and also let me know if you would like to see a wish list because i can do a whole video on that if you guys are interested and yeah um i hope in 2021 is good to us i want to really just be more consistent on here um so comment below as well like things you want to see i know you guys love hauls i know my last other haul did really well i've like it has like 3.2k views on it which is crazy um so yeah i appreciate 
the love, the support. I want to be more consistent this year, but I don't want to talk. I just want to do so. Hopefully you guys will see that in my actions and in my posting. And yeah, have a great day or evening, wherever you are. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.